Good afternoon and welcome to Pax Christi Catholic Church as we celebrate the 29th Sunday or weekend, I guess, in ordinary time. From the rising of the sun to its setting, there is no God but God. Let Israel praise the Lord. Please stand and greet your neighbor. Let's join together in singing number 302, Gather Us In. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let's pause just for a moment and tell Christ we're sorry for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, 
and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Your Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors for him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my service, of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God beside me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is no other besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Sylvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians. In God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, 
grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love, and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. With A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, the Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us, then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. And they handed him the Roman coin. And he said to them, Whose image is this? Whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Well, then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The word of the Lord. Amen. I titled this homily, What is the Solution? What's the solution for the Palestinian problem? What's the solution for the Jewish problem? What's the solution for Putin's problem? What's the solution for the Ukrainians? And then looking way, way back in the past, what was the solution for the Roman Empire? And they were a problem to the Jews. And the zealots wanted to get them to be unoccupied, the Holy Land. What's the solution? I think the best answer to that, what is the solution, is in this evening's gospel. In the evening his gospel, when the Pharisees sent these, these uh, disciples of theirs to ask Jesus a question, to trip him up, not to really get something from him, but to trip him up, they, they really build him up. Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with truth. The answer to all of these problems here is act the, like the way of God. That's the answer, I think. And as far as the way of God is, 
the God of the, in the Old Testament and the Jesus Christ in the New Testament. If we act like the way of God or the way of God has for us, we wouldn't have any of those problems. And so it isn't just, well, give the Palestinians some land that they deserve or give the Jewish people the land that was given to them or Putin, why are you taking that land back or what is it in yours or is it? Are the Ukrainians, this is our land. It doesn't belong to Russia. Well, the way of God would, I would think that they would work out something. And I think the working out way of God is shown in the Old Testament. Clearly, it was so good, Christ copied it. You know, in the Old Testament, he said, they said, love your neighbor as yourself. The way of God is that you're supposed to love yourself. And you're supposed to love yourself so much so that you got energy and, and enough vibes in you to love your neighbor because they're sort of like yourself. They were created by God, so love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. Hmm, that's OT stuff, not overdose stuff. That's OT, Old Testament stuff. And Jesus didn't deny any of that Jesus said, I came to, I mean, he didn't deny any of the Ten Commandments of Moses, which was later than this. So the, the way of God is the answer to all of those problems there. And the way of Jesus is even deeper and harder, but it might be the only answer. I mean, we have tried battles. You know, the Roman Empire tried and did con 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 take charge of the world. And it didn't answer happiness and loving one another and peace. The opposite. This Putin, what he's trying to do, uh, I guarantee you that that's not going to answer the question of how he's going about it or how we all continue over and over and over again to go about it, I think it is the way of God that these disciples of the Pharisees are saying that Jesus, we know that you tell the truth and we know that you have the, the way of God. So the way of God is the answer. Plain and simple. I don't care whether you take all the other world religions. They're good. But the way of God is the answer to that. And I think Jesus Christ is, he not only told us it's the answer, but he gave us and showed us how to live. He loved his enemies. He suffered and died for the people who were crucifying him. Now I know we can't just all be perfect and do all that, but by golly, it's not going to be probably what the Jews are going to be doing, going into the enemy and kill rockets and planes and bombs and so forth and killing, you know, the Palestinians, you know, and, and the real enemy. We're just going to have that again, 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 and that's what we're doing again and 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 again. I really believe Jesus Christ is the answer. And that's why I believe in Roman Catholicism because and a lot of the other religions don't have the answer, but they do. But I think we have a darn good uh, presentation of Jesus Christ and what he said and how he lived and what we're called to do. Until the world sort of does that, we're just going to keep on doing this over and over again. 
not that I'm telling you, therefore you, you're going to do this and then you're going to solve the world problems. <laughs> it's, it's much deeper, harder, and so forth. But I really believe the only answer is that message of Jesus Christ. Maybe the helper coming along after Christ, after Christ went back to the Heavenly Father, and the Heavenly Father and Christ were going to send a third helper, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the wrapper upper. He's going to pull this off in due time. But I think he's waiting for us to jump on the bandwagon. And not just that Holy Spirit is going to come down like those tongues of fire and then it's going to light up, uh, you know, the, the world. And then all of a sudden it's going to be fine. I don't know the answer to this, but I think it really is only Jesus. When I was working on this little homily this morning, I got up early and um, I did morning prayer. And I read the, 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 the song that starts morning prayer. And I thought, my God, Larry, that says it better new. So I'm going to read it to you, the text. Now, that, now you get the good homily. The good homily is this. Christ is the world's light. He and none other. Born in our darkness, he became our brother. If we have seen him, we have seen the Father. Glory to God on high. Christ is the world's peace. He and none other. No man can serve him and despise his brother. Who else united us, one in God the Father? Glory to God on high. Christ is the world's life. He and none other. Sold once for silver, murdered here our brother. He who redeems us reigns with God the Father. Glory to God on high. Give God the glory, God and none other. Give God the glory, Spirit, Son, and Father. Give God the glory, God and man and women, my brothers and sisters. Glory to God on high. So I really believe when these t teachers went to Jesus and built him up by saying, you are a truthful man, and he was, and they said that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with truth. That's the only answer to all of these wars over and over again. You know, the Roman Empire failed. Hitler and the Third Reich failed. And all of our wars are failures of not doing the way of God or not doing the message of Jesus. And simplistically it is love your neighbors yourself Love the Lord your God with your whole heart, mind, and soul, and love your enemies. Pretty easy. I think it's the only answer. When are we going to do it? By God, by golly, we need help to do it. The Holy Spirit. And I think that is what each one individual has to try to do the message of Jesus. You might not agree with that, but I just think, what's the solution? I think there's only one, Jesus. Please stand, we'll say the creed. I believe in one God, Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, that all the... I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Eternally God, the Son of God, born of the Father, born of the God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. <clears throat> he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Trusting that God listens to our prayers, we humbly turn to him with our needs and the needs of the world. That the church continue to preach the gospel with power and conviction, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all leaders of nations and peoples respect the creeds and cultures of their citizens, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That communities work together to end neglect and abuse, especially of children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That where the name of Christ is yet unknown, may the Holy Spirit work through missionaries, drawing souls by the redeeming power of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That violence and death in Israel and Palestine cease and bring about a path of lasting peace for all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be moved to continue our support of the diocesan annual appeal, helping those aided by the works of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Synod in Rome may foster a profound desire to be in communication with Christ, so that we may witness his truth, life, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in our parish who need prayer and all who are suffering share the cross of Jesus and may be anointed with his joy and grace. We especially pray for the eternal joy of Joe Mackley and Ruth Keller. We pray to the Lord. Living in true God, you are our strength and refuge. Hear our prayers that we may be worthy stewards of your good work in this world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please join in singing number 415, In Christ Alone.
Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. For by Christ's birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. By his suffering, canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Christ took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, all the clergy and laity. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> At 
the Savior's command in form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let's offer to one another some sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. During communion, let's sing together number 346.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you have given this in this present age and prepared us for the gifts of the eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sorry, but there's no UK game today. I'm sorry that there's no Bengal game tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go out to Keeneland and have a mass tomorrow morning and, and, <laughs> and then maybe stay out there. Have a good evening. The Lord be with you. Be May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's join together in singing number 556, Sing a New Song. Mm -hmm. 